What's going on guys? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to get your MPC beats from the MPC to your DAW. In my case, I'm using Logic. Um, I got this question by a subscriber and then I figured it was a good idea to just make a quick video. Uh, there's actually three ways to do it, but I'm gonna focus on one. Uh, so if you're one of those guys who prefer to work in standalone mode, this requires you to just temporarily hook it up to controller mode and you can drag and drop your files from the MPC to Logic. So let's get into the video. So I'm just going to show the easiest way, I think. So I got Logic open and, um, and I'm just going to go to track view. If you got the whole thing extended like this, you'll see track view right here. But I'm going to pull it to the side like this. And I'm simply going to select the track, solo it. And this little icon right here, it says export audio. I'm going to click it. And then I'm just going to drag from there. I can put it anywhere here in Logic. So now we got that. I think it's like four bars or something. Maybe eight. Uh, nice four bars. Uh, then I'm going to go to this track and I'm going to make sure I play it so I can actually hear the sound because if you don't do that when you switch from a track or a sound uh, the first hit doesn't really sound right so listen to it a, f a few times and um, do the same thing and then we could just drag that there and um, for the drums, it's a little bit different. You know, I'm going to make sure this view is open. And now I'm going to solo each sound on my drum kit. So solo the hi-hat to begin. And you got to make sure you solo the track too. So it's just... And I play it a few times just to make sure uh, it sounds right from the beginning. And then I just click that again. Put it there. Um, Go to the next sound, solo it, play it a few times. Um, and as you can see now, this one is still there. So you have to actually jump to another track. At least that's the only way I figured out how to do it. Come back to it. And you see now it's reset. So I can do that. And we just keep doing it for all these tracks. So solo that, jump to another track, come back. Make sure it plays. Same thing here. Switch to another track. You can even hear when you play it the first time that the attack on the first hit kind of is too slow. Like it kind of disappears. So now that one. Try it here. And now I got my whole beat, this very simple beat in Logic. Make sure it lined up here. And I'm going to turn down the volume a little bit, make sure I'm not killing the speakers. Actually, I don't, I don't have my computer hooked up to the speakers right now, but just so you can hear that it works. And of course, you got to check out what the BPM is, 89. And you just set the 89, I mean the... You set it to 89 in your door. And um, depending on what your export setting is set to, is I have it to record a little tail at the end too, like in case you have some type of reverb or something that you don't wanna, that you may wanna still have in the beat. But for now, if I'm gonna loop this up, I'm just gonna get rid of that last little part. And then I can just, um, Go like this, and I can make a quick arrangement in Logic. So this is basically what's going to come in MPC3, you know what I mean? Like, you're going to be able to do all these things in the standalone, which is cool. Like, I think I'm actually going to finish more beats in standalone. Um, so, yeah, we can, uh, we can start with just... Arranging is another thing. I could definitely make a video on that for you guys. 
But um, yeah, this was just a short video because the subscriber asked how I did this. So of course, you can also uh, directly record it from the outputs of your MPC and just press play. That's that's quite of a process actually because you got to make sure that you sync everything correctly. What I do is I make sure the metronome plays before the sound actually starts. And then you do the same process. You just solo the sound that you want to play and you just play it for at least four bars and you record it into Logic. Um, like I said, for you guys who don't really know how to do stuff like that, I can make a separate video. But um, that's another way of doing it. And then you can also, um, you can just also click export in the MPC. Export. Yeah, you can do it here. Um, audio mix down. And you can, um, you set the start bar as one. And this is the audio tail that I was talking about. I haven't set the stereo output here, but you can um, set it to separate programs, which you know, your drum program will bounce separately, your bass program will bounce separately and so on. But this is also a little bit tricky. So this I can make another video on, but those are the three different ways of, uh, you know, getting your stuff from the MPC. If you're in standalone mode, I guess um, you can't drag it and drop it like how I did it. So then you would have to track it out, uh, meaning recording it from the outputs of the MPC into your audio interface and into logic like real time like actually wait for four bars to play and then press stop and then you know edit and cut everything up um so if you work in standalone that option and this will be the two option that works so i can make a separate video for for those two for you guys who prefer to only be in standalone mode but uh, i mean it's very simple if you want to do it the quick easy way just connect to controller mode you know, just hook it up to the computer just when you're gonna export it to uh, to your DAW. The advantage of actually tracking it out through the output is that it changes the sound a little bit, you know, because you're actually going through cables. Um, you know, it turns into um, digital to analog and then back to digital. So um, I think that affects the sound a little bit, kind of in a good way, it gives it a little bit more life, I think. Um, at least that's what a lot of people say. And I definitely felt the same way. Yeah, if you record and sample from your computer or your phone into the MPC, especially with the older MPCs that had better uh, DA converters, you definitely hear a difference. And it gives you the option to kind of like boost the sound and you know, maybe crank it up a little bit louder than, than it should be. And that gives, that can give, give the drums a extra knock if you know what you're doing and don't do it too much. All right, guys, that's it for this time. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot.